try or uh, four corners. Plus, yeah. the, the reaction times that you train these these athletes now, it will improve this. I'm like, oh, this instinct now, thirty seconds in my in my head, I gotta get the ball up. It just you you set them up for better success that way, in my opinion. Plus, it probably made the game seconds. more fun. And I agree with you. It definitely made the game more fun. Be more up and down. You had to worry about you. You have to. The pace would definitely speed up. Yes. Right, scoring will too. Oh definitely yeah, sure. scoring, scoring will definitely go definitely up. Go up. Scoring will definitely shots, either so. scoring or rebounding will go up. One or the other. Because that's what you think. You, yeah, yeah, either scoring <laughs> or rebound. Scoring or rebound so. But I'm I'm all for it. I'm glad that they are looking into it and did it in the NIT. Turnover ratios probably would go up. Yeah, but that's time. It, it'll be an adjustment period. But I think it'll be for the. I don't better. think it'd even be an adjustment period. Don't think so. No, because those guys already play quick as it is. So. Yeah. Most teams play quick. All right. Gotcha. It'd be better than seeing these 56, 48 games and crap like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. You see games in the 80s. I do with you. You go for a break, should we keep going? I'm good. All right, let's keep going. I'm good. Let's move into some buy and sell and discuss some NBA <laughs> talk here. Market Smart and Justin, if you have not seen that, make sure you go to a buying Twitter. Instagram, you can find a video. He anywhere. did a WWE low blow. But pretty much, there was a play last night. It was getting beat by 20 against the San Antonio Spurs. He came off the screen, and he basically uppercut it or club. I want to say, yeah. It, well, he but, did a WWE low blow to Matt Bonner. Matt Bonner, yeah. To Matt Bonner. And he I, did a uh, forearm in the nut. So everybody saw the play. And of course, in last week, you don't get gypped. So they're all trying to sit like, Dudes, come down and stop reacting. No, there's a reason he reacted because Matt Bonner has kept him set off the air, and I agree with him. Now. He's a mild mannered guy. Calm. Yeah, calm he's guy. calm. Yeah, he's calm dude. Well, you see someone coming at you, there's there's something happening. He he said review it. He even looked at the rope, and his team said review it. And hence, you just saw Marcus Smart trying to club the guy, and we know in college he has his history of attitude problems. He wanted to beat up people. Um, um, yes, he did. He did get ejected because the flagrant two is immediate ejection. Now, as you, Kevin, by he's going to be a suspension. Yes. And how long should a suspension? Every be? day, every time somebody has hit somebody in the nuts, they get suspended. Whereas an incidental contact or nothing, mm-hmm. have they got suspended? You're getting suspended. But he's going to get suspended for more than the one game the other people got suspended for, because it looked like he did it. If legit, he did it on purpose. Right. So probably he'll probably get two or three games for. it. Yeah, I'm, I think he gets more than what Harden did for kicking LeBron in the jump, mm-hmm. and more than Wade did for hitting dude in the jump. Right, I'm I'm buying it too. There's there's no place for that. Play basketball. It's, it's, I know you're getting beat, and it's it's human curve. nature to get frustrated. But, but you don't want to karate don't, chop a man in the nuts. No, you don't. And and I, so I, I think it should be at least two games. Look, right I've now. been beating Cortez by twenty, and Cortez ain't trying to hit me in the nuts. <laughs> So, but no, it's, it's uncalled for. So please, just yeah, Marcus Smart. I know you, you, you got you listen. You're a talented player, and I'm looking to see how it goes because eventually we could. My team could have drafted you, but man, it's it's that's just uncalled for. And I hope you really grow from this and uh, and resume because if I say you're young and also dumb. They all say young and dumb goes together. Young and dumb. So we all was there when we were young and dumb, but I'm Wasn't not that him. you? I'm not him. We all was there. I'm yeah. turning 30 this year, so <laughs> I can say we all was there when we was young and dumb. Hey, man. I'm about to reach the 30 club, all right? I can say it. <laughs> so, but yeah, get, get your mind right. All right, bye. Yeah, people are still old and dumb. J.R. Smith. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah. Oh, what? He's doing better since he's been in Cleveland? No, he's... I'm just saying, I think he's a couple years younger than me. That young? That's old. He's been in the league for 40 years. Well, now we're looking. We're looking up how old J.R. Smith is. Because I believe he came. He came out of high school. Junior Smith, 29. Plumbing. Okay. Well, he's the same age as me. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, let's move to the next by himself. It just seems like he's been in the league. Paul George return is delayed for the day, but we're ready to return soon. I want to go ahead and let Kevin speak on this because he, we had a discussion where I thought he was not going to even play. Didn't I buy this at the at the, at the uh, you did at buy the season uh, start of the season you thing did, that we you did, did buy? Didn't, didn't I buy it? Yeah, because me and me and John discussed that he was. There's no way he's coming back. I'm still buying it because I knew mm-hmm. he was coming back. But this, 
I, I want to say I, I, I buy him coming back because. Oh, now you buy it. <laughs> well, no, I'm saying I'm buying from him coming back now because of the fact that is 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 he seems like he's ready to go. It's well, he'll be back, ball. but they'll they'll ease him in. And what basically what they're trying to do is get him get him ready for some playoff minutes. Is what they're trying to get him ready right. For. So, well, I mean, if they make the playoffs, which now, I think right now they're in the eighth position. Now, question: What what do you think? Uh, what what do you think the minutes should be? As far as him coming back, ten to twelve a game 10, 12 to a start game. off with, then slowly progress to get a little more, get a little more, get a little more, get a little more, then boost it up to fifteen to twenty, and you keep boosting it up after that. Yeah, because they're recently on a four-game losing streak, and they was number seven seed. But your Miami Heat done got hot. Stay there, stay at number seven. <laughs> he wants them to stay there. Stay at number seven, so because you talk about a petrified bunch in the first round. Cleveland will be scared shitless if they got to play Miami in the first round of the playoff. Cleveland does not match well with Miami. For some reason, they don't match well with Miami. I don't know what it is, but they don't. So, you see those couple Stay games there. there and Kevin. Stay there. Don't go higher. Don't go lower. Just stay at number seven. <laughs> Kevin's rooting for this series, so. Oh, dude, I, I want this series bad. So. But as you see, yeah, it is. It's, Indiana is there, so maybe I think Indiana spark. will end up getting the eighth seed, probably. Yeah, Especially right. if he comes back, it'll give him a little spark, a little boost and spark, mm-hmm. and everything like that. So it's, yeah, I'm, I'm saying about at least them eight minute spurts in, in, in each half and see what he, he can do and everything like that, get him back in basketball shape. That's, that's what they call it. So what? <laughs> He's already skinny. He didn't basketball. All right, salary cap to increase to ninety million next year, and then the year after that, it's going to increase to one hundred five million. More money, more moving. So buy or sell. More money, more problems. Not more problems. There's going to be more moving. It should be more money, more moving, because people are going to be moving like crazy now. But I like that they're making more money though. It means the product is is succeeding now with these younger. Because we were worried about what is it going to be like when these old. Guys get older. Mm-hmm. Are they still going to be able to continue? And you got guys coming along now. Harden, Curry, all these guys are coming along now. So, and they're making more money. So, right. hey, more yeah. money and more moving. They're going to be moving like crazy. This, this gives the GMs a little bit more flexibility to do what they as you want to do. Oh my God! It gives Pat Riley more flexibility. So it, it gives it gives GMs more flexibility. Be worried about Pat Riley now. He'll do some weird and, shit. And so you, you you like this from a standpoint, and you know you can pay some some up and coming young talent and see what it is here. But if that, you're the that, right that, team, you can pay. That, that's, some teams just don't pay. So it's 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 a good move on the part there where listen, you got an option where that you you can get some talent and try to improve your roster through your young talent in the draft. But now you got an option to do it through the draft, and you can do it through free agency. There's no more excuses now. Now some genius will still find a way to mess that up. Uh, uh, Philly, Billy King. Um, <laughs> so the GM, for, the GM for the Brooklyn Nets. Scotty um, he, he took a bunch of salary, and now all that, yes, yeah, it's, it's a mess with them. So Scotty, and also the bus too. Yeah, he, he, he's been the, the other bus. Seventy sixers. Seventy sixers. Well, he's he's gonna be below the cap, so he just gotta try to be at Orlando. the cap threshold. So. Wait a minute, chill out. <laughs> Y'all don't spend money. Or when you do, you spend money on Channing Fry. Channing Fry? Well, now we got money, so we'll be able to get some and ben, time. And, and, and Gordon. Don't remind me of that. Well, Ben Gordon was like a, a, a veteran. And Mr. Franchise, Willie Green. Well, one year contract. Well, he's picked up on waivers, so. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, we don't we don't know. No, yeah. no, no. But you have to show that tendency that you would want to spend money. Yeah. Which before you haven't shown the tendency that you want to spend money. That I don't blame them because you don't want to be locked in a situation before with young talent and everything like that, and you bring some over the hill veteran. I'm okay with him going with young talent now, but this this gives you that flexibility, even more flexibility now. So GMs, don't mess this up. We know some of you were. We'll do. So don't make nine thousand trades and get none but draft picks. I'm Philly, <laughs> taking a shot at Philly. All right, Allen Iverson. Really a draft that hurt people. Came off and said that Westbrook reminds me so much of myself. Buy or sell that? Sell. <laughs> Nothing like Allen Iverson. 
I, there's, I don't see no similarities between the two. Besides the quickness. The first step quickness, maybe. But Allen, Allen to me, was a better shooter. To me, he was a better shooter. Westbrook's a better go to the whole dunk on you dude. He's a lot more angrier than, than Allen ever was. But Allen, me, had better ball handling ability. He was a better shooter. He, he was a better passer sometimes. Yeah. But I, 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 there's a little similarities, but not a lot. I wouldn't say he reminded me of himself. Allen had better hair. <laughs> I would buy in the sense where the competitiveness, if there are certain traits, yeah, but not the whole package. Yeah, the whole package. So the competitiveness nature, I totally agree with that. Like, he just really he's got all this fire built into him, and he's willing to go ahead and actually take on a challenge and everything like that. But anything else, I don't see much of a comparison. Is uh, Allen Iverson, someone who who you respect from pound for pound, one of the guys to play this game. Does one of them like practice and one doesn't? I don't know. <laughs> but I, that's why I say from pound to pound, Allen Iverson. He has so many nick nick knack injuries that he still played through them. Uh, I, I give a man much respect, Allen Iverson, and I, I would say you're definitely the better player in Westbrook. Allen was a tough little son. He was tough. He, he was a tough guy. and He took a butt whoop. He did, and he kept coming back for more. That's why I said, and I was, it was a shame to watch him try to go from team to team and try to still continue his career. It's just that ego you have, like, listen, I can still play basketball. I should still be able to start and and then he didn't want to accept the bench role for the Memphis Grizzlies, and then he was cut after like two or three games. And, but Allen Iverson, you're definitely, uh, I, I don't see the comparison. Yeah. Just, it may be just the competitive nature is the only thing that I see. So, all right, last thing. Well, we got a couple more because we only discuss the Kentucky thing. But uh, Effort Payton is the, uh, he had back to back triple doubles. And he, there's been a lot of talk. At least now, that at least there's some model coming out, he should be considered for the Rookie of the Year award. Um, now, there is always the the ladder and everything. If you go to NBA.com, and he would always be like top five on that. But now he's up to like the top two and top three. Would you agree with him being considered for Rookie of the Year at all over Andrew Wiggins? I can see it. he has a case. He has a case, but... Rookie of the year is what you do over the long haul and not just what off you do at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. And what he's doing at the end of the day has been pretty good. But what he's done over the long haul during the season, which I put a lot on their former head coach, not playing him. He can't. You really can't base it off of just what he's done lately. Should he be in the conversation off what he's done lately? Sure. But at the beginning of the year, he was nowhere to be seen because he wasn't playing. So you can make a case for it, but... Not really, because of where he was at the beginning of the year to where he is now. Reason he's so fresh now is because he didn't play <laughs> a lot during the beginning of the year. I'm gonna sell it too, and I want to say I want to buy it. He deserved the discussion and the news that he should be considered. I do agree with that. You look at Andrew Wiggins and Nikola Mirotic, the Serbia who plays for the Bulls. This guy, with all the injuries that the Bulls have had. It's definitely a spread out four, and he's able to hit the shot. This guy can shoot lights out. Oh, I've been man. I've been very impressed with him, and I've been very impressed with Andrew Wiggins. No doubt, I've been impressed with Effort Payton. This guy has the intangibles. He's we admit that his his jump shot is broken. Oh yeah. Um, but besides that, he no his jump shot's not broken. His so. jump shot has never been there. So, he's, he's the guy that's doing everything else. Oh, yeah, he does. He does all the small things well. Yeah. He does all the intangible things that you want a guy to do right. very well. He just needs to stay in the gym, shoot 4 million jump shots, and shoot 4 million free throws. And then, he, then he'll, well, he, he'll get into his head. Yeah. Because right now, right now, he's either hesitant or just doesn't shoot at all mm-hmm. when he's wide open. And from your point guard, you really can't have that. No. You have to have a little bit of confidence that your point guard is going to be able to knock down a shot. Exactly. And this instead, he goes, oh, screw this shit, and throws it to whoever else. Right. Yeah, that's the thing with him. And, and the last few games, he's been 
willing to take the jump shots to make them. He made some free throws. To